of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and saying, Goranga Nikita Kavi Ki Hoita, Kamane Dari Kade. If Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had not come to this world, then what would become of us? What would be the point of living? How would we be able to maintain this body? Everything would be void. Without Krishna consciousness, everything is void. The living entity is not really living. Our breathing is just like the breathing of the bellows in the blacksmith's shop. Not really alive. Then he continues. In this universe, if Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had not come, who would have known about the height of Srimati Radhika's glories, about the height of her love? Sri Krishna came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to fulfill his three desires, to uh, relish her love, the glory of her love, the uh, taste that she's experiencing in relishing his own qualities which he can taste, and the happiness she experiences in her love of him, which is ten million times his happiness in their relationship. So he wanted these three. So he came to taste that love and also to give us, the fortunate jivas, the service to that love. Prema ras near yas kori te acharan, radhamarga bhakti loke kori te acharan. He came to taste that himself and give that to us. So how would anybody in the universe have known this if Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had not come. Then he's continuing. Madura Vrinda Vipina Madhuri Pravesha Chaturi Sar. If Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had not come, how would we be able to enter into the moods of the gopis? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught his followers, Sri Sanatana Goswami, especially Sri Rupa Goswami, Sri Raghunath Goswami, and their followers, Sri Narth. Uh, Narottam Das Thakur, Srila Viswanath Chakravarti Thakur, and they've given us so many beautiful literatures and prayers for entering into the love of the gopis, which is the uh, donation, the special donation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that no other incarnation or acharya gave before him. Then he continues, he's begging us, he's giving an appeal to us for our only beatitude, the only way that we can be happy in this world. He's saying, Gau Puna Puna, Goranga Guna, Sharala Hayyaman. With a simple heart, over and over again, please chant the holy names of Goranga. Chant about his glorious qualities. Anyone who understands the uh, qualities and character of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he's understood that he has grasped the essence of devotional service. Anyone who understands that his associates are Nitya Siddha, Bhaktas, and non different from the associates of Radha and Krishna, he also becomes an associate of Radha and Krishna. This is the donation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. No one in this universe has ever been so merciful as he. Then he's lamented. Srila Gurudev has said so many times that of all the words in our vocabulary, the most important word is when. When, oh when, will that day be mine? And Sri Nara Haridas is showing us the example, lamenting and praying, when will that day come? He says, Goranga Baliya Nagenu Baliya Kemane Darinu Day. When I chant the holy name of Goranga, unfortunately my heart does not melt. So how do I continue to maintain the burden of this body? We're taking pleasure in the body, soaping it so nicely, but our acharyas are teaching us that it's nothing but a dead rock. It's nothing, there's no life in it, unless we're Krishna conscious, unless we take the shelter of Garanda Mahaprabhu. And then he's begging the Lord, how is it that the Lord has created in me a stone for a heart? instead of giving me a heart. So as our Prabhupada used to often say when he was commenting on our Acharya songs, lamentation is purification. And our Acharyas are teaching that we should always think that we're the most worthless, uh, insignificant, 
and that because of my past sins and offenses, I'm not getting any taste for the holy name. Therefore, we pray to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and our Acharyas and our Gurudev that please give me the great taste for the great treasure of the holy name. I'm simply running after you, shouting, calling out Krishna, Krishna. And Gurudev is teaching us, he's the embodiment of all of our Acharyas, teaching us how to chant and we, just one last thing, I once uh, told Gurudev that you've given me so many services, Gurudev, that I, my sadhana, my chanting is sloppy. And I thought he was going to say, no problem, you work so hard, one day it will come automatically. He said, no, you're doing everything wrong. You have to be like me, chanting and weeping. So I have so many services, and he showed me that he was uh, on his fourth thing of beads to chant 64 rounds and so many devotees come and see him all day. He said, still, I take time out for chanting and weeping. So Nara Hari is does is showing us that and Gurudev is inviting it and giving that to us. Thank you. <laughs> If anyone is from Ardanga, they want to let bumps.
very important song by Shilinar Tamdas Thakur. It's called Sri Nityananda Nishta. It means gaining firm faith in Sri Nityananda Prabhu. Nityananda, this name, it means eternal ananda, ecstasy or happiness. So Sri Nityananda Prabhu, he is none different than uh, Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, who is his life and soul. And also Nityananda Prabhu is none other than the personality of Godhead Sri Balaramji, who is the first expansion of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna himself. So Sri Balaramji, he is the very embodiment of Guru Tattva, the principle of the Guru. Sri Balaramji, his very name, Bala, it means spiritual strength. What is that strength? That strength is by which the Jiva soul can serve Krishna eternally in their eternal relationship or rasa and attain Krishna frame. So that same Balaramji, uh, who is the source of all existence, he is the Sandini potency, uh, the predominating Lord or deity of that potency of existence. So all of creation rests upon the potency of Sri Balaram. And that same divine Supreme Lord has mercifully descended in the form of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. And in this form, the, the Supreme Lord is exhibiting the most merciful manifestation and he is giving access to all the jiva souls without consideration of their qualifications. But out of his causeless mercy, he is going door to door, as Nartam Das Thakur is told in another song, with this piece of straw in his teeth as a sign of humility and begging everyone, please chant the name of my Goranga. If you chant the name of my Goranga, then I will be sold to you. So Sri Nityananda Prabhu is being glorified by Sri Nartam Das Thakur in this very famous song. And he is telling that Nitai Padakamalam Koti Chandra Shunu Shitala. This means that the two lotus feet of Sri Nityananda Prabhu are as cooling as millions of moons. Just like the moon, when it shines in the full moon day, everyone experiences a very cooling effect from that full moon. And therefore, Nartam Das Thakur is saying that that effect, multiplied millions of times, is the cooling effect of Sri Nityananda Prabhu's transcendental lotus feet. Because if anyone receives shelter there, oh, they will be sheltered from the endless suffering of repeated birth and death in this material world. It is described that Sri Nityananda Prabhu, he is swallowing, uh, just like the Agastya Muni swallowed the entire ocean. So in the same way, Sri Nityananda Prabhu, he is swallowing the endless ocean of repeated birth and death and giving shelter to all the jivas. So Naratam Das Thakur is saying, Yecha Yai Chakata Jurai. The entire universe will find this Jurai relief by taking shelter of the two lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. And then he cries out to all. He says, oh, my dear brothers, if you don't accept these two lotus feet of Lord Nityananda, if you try to eliminate taking shelter of Sri Nityananda Prabhu, which also means taking shelter of Guru, because Guru, Sri Guru, is manifestation of Sri Nityananda Prabhu, who is the embodiment of Guru Tattva. So he says, It will not be possible for you to attain Radha and Krishna. Why? Because Nityananda Prabhu, uh, he is giving access. He has the direct connection with Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And without Gauranga Mahaprabhu, 
No one can attain Radha and Krishna and eternal service to Radha and Krishna and Goloka Vrindavan. So therefore, Nityananda Prabhu is delivering access to the service of Radha and Krishna. So therefore, he recommends Dridhakori Daro Nitai Pai. Take firm shelter. You should hold on very, very tightly to these two lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. Then he says, Say Sambandha Nahi Jar, Prita Janma Ke Lotar, Say Pashan Baro Duna Jar. He says, if someone doesn't make relationship with Sri Nityananda Prabhu, then they're taking birth in this human form of life, and all of their endeavors in this human form of life are completely useless. Why? Because only purpose of human form of life is to find the shelter of Sri Guru and surrender to the Supreme Lord. And Nityananda Prabhu gives access to that. So if someone doesn't have a relationship with Sri Nityananda Prabhu, then his whole life is wasted. And even here in Arts of Das Thakur is saying, say Pashu Boro Durachar. Such a person, he has no good behavior. He's a very uncivilized person, and he's practically just like an animal. Say Pashu Boro Durachar. Then he says, Ahamkare Mattahoya Nitai Pada Pashariya. If someone forgets the two lotus feet of Lord Nityananda, then what will be the result? Ahankare Mattahaya. He'll become absorbed in ahankar. That means this temporary false bodily conception of life that I am this material body made out of all these disgusting elements, stool, urine, pus, blood, etc. If a person forgets Nityananda, he will think, oh, I am this physical body. And as a result, asatyare satya korimani. He will accept that which is temporary. He will accept it as permanent. The asat means not real, not actually permanent. And this whole material existence, all of our family, all of our friends, our good fortune, our cars, and so forth, oh, this is nothing but a temporary manifestation of material nature, and it will all be finished instantaneously at the time of death. But if someone forgets Nityananda Prabhu, he thinks, oh, this is very important, this temporary life, all of my relationships, and he places all of his faith in that. But, Nityayar Karuna Habe Braje Radha Krishna Habe. If someone receives the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, he prays at the lotus feet of Nitai, please give me shelter, please give me shelter, then what happens? Oh, Radha Krishna Habe. Vrajay. Vrajay means in Vrindavan, where Radha and Krishna are eternally residing. Oh, by the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, you will attain that divine eternal abode. Therefore, he says, Daro Nitayer Charanatukani. Again, he says, hold on tightly to the lotus feet of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. Finally, he says, Nitayer Charana Satya, Tahara Sevaka Nitya, Nitai Pada Sada Asha. Oh, the two lotus feet of Nityananda Prabhu, they are not temporary or illusory, they are real. They are more real than anything that we have ever experienced. And if someone worships and becomes the devoted servant of the lotus feet of Nitai, oh, then, uh, Tahara Sevaka Nitya. <clears throat> that person, that servitor, he will also attain eternal life, eternal existence. Then Narottam Das Thakur is lamenting at the end of the song in deep Vaishnava humility and also teaching us how we must lament and how we must pray to Lord Nityananda. He says, Narottam Boro Duki Nitai More Koro Suki. Oh, this Narottam Das is feeling very sad in this material existence. Oh, therefore, oh Lord Nityananda, please give me shelter. Please maintain me by your mercy and make me happy in the eternal bliss of Krishna praying, in which you are constantly swimming and uh, drowning in that bliss of Krishna praying. Rakaranga Charanera Pash, please keep me uh, in a tiny little place at the reddish uh, edges of the tips of your lotus feet. So that is a beautiful song of Narottam Das Thakur, and it is also applicable to Sri Guru, begging Sri Guru in the same way, because Nityananda Prabhu manifests in this world as Sri Guru Dev. Oh, God. 
Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Sadabhaktaya Namo First of all, my millions of Jantar Pradam and devotees of my spiritual master. Parmaratya Tam Nitya Lila Pravishto Vishnu Bhavasitya Bhakti Vita Bhakti Prajnana Kisha Vita And seven devotees of my Shiksha Guru Nitya Lila Pravishto Vishnu Bhavasitya Vedan Swami Maharaj. <coughs> we are discussing from previous year about Jagadam Prema Sain Divas. And in this connection, we have discussed so many things. Once In Shastra, everywhere it is written, Vrindavanam Pratyajapane Kam Nagachati. Krishna, Vrindavanandana Shamsundar, for a moment he cannot give up Vrindavan. So he is always in Vrindavan. And also, you know that when any person here has so much affection and love, I must come. I will return. I will return three times. So he promised that. So Krishna Sakstam Samkalpa. What he desires, he will fulfill. And also Srimad Bhagavatam, it has been told. Krishna Trisatya Satasya Yoni Satasya Nihita. Satya comes from Krishna. The embodiment of Krishna is Satya. So, how we become became that Srila Nanda Baba came from Braj with Krishna, but returned empty. No Krishna. Being sad, he returned back. words of Krishna that he had promised that I will come, I will come, I will. And secondly, oh, Vrindavan Pratyajapade Vrindavan always he is rejoiced. Then where this is? He can answer. Yes. But we kept in him. You know, Maharaj and Om Vishnu 
and Sokas also coming became very sad. Other hand, Mr. Vishnu Sathya's soul and Guru Dev explained us as before in America that Nanda Baba is coming with Gulaka, with Sri Krishna and Sri Baladev Prabhu and other Sokas, they are coming from Mathura to Nanda Gokul. They are laughing, joking, eating and coming back to Vrindavan. And other times the Guru Dev told, so here that where Krishna get love, he always be there, so this is the proof. Krishna get much more love in Vrindavan, so he came back with Nanda Baba. In this context, Sri Guru Dev told, when Krishna said Uddha, Gacha Dhava Prajam Soma Pitimna Priti Mahabha, Gopin Nanya Piyogadhi Matsandha Saiti Mochaya. He said Uddha to console his parents and all Prajavasis, especially Gopis. Uddha is thinking, oh, how I can give up Krishna and go to Braj? Not possible for me at all. Krishna told Uddha, I am partly here and completely in Braj. If you go, you can realize all these things. When Uddha about to enter in Braj, when he entered in Nanda Gokul, the time came about thus. The time of that cow in Krishna is to come back. When he entered, the Jogmaya showed him that Krishna was in the Braj. He saw all Prajavas is very happy. Some are telling, Lo, Do, Choro means, Lo means, I have milk this, take this pot, bring another pot. Choro means, untie the cup by this way, how they are milking, this process is going on. And everywhere they are giving kiwi, so nice fragrance is coming. The cups are jumping like so on, and all are happy. Uttar said, oh, this is really true. Krishna told, I am completely in Braj. And all Prajavasi, especially Gopis, what they are doing? Govinda Dhamo, Dharma, Dhameti. After next moment, Uttam saw all Prajavas is lamenting for Krishna. So here also Uttam saw two things that Krishna is completely in Braj. So here also our Sri Chakravati Chakur and Sri Gurudev heard from him that Krishna always in Braj. So Krishna never come out from Braj. The second question was have raised that Krishna told, I must return, I must return, I must return. Because this is the proof that he came back with Nanda Baba in another places, Sri Vishnu Chakur has explained. And after some time, Krishna came back with Braj after killing Gantavakra, the brother of Sisupal, coming in Braj, two called Brajavasis and went into eternal abode, means of Prakar Vrindavan. So, by this way, you can reconcile if Krishna never stepped back, step out from Vrindavan, where he came, loves, he loves, lives there, and what Krishna promised, he came back and taking all Brajavasis went to of Prakar Vrindavan. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Speaking, uttering the name of God will not do. You will have to follow the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Acha, how he behaved as a sannyasi. He never made rain in any lady. Very little 
taking prasad. Very simple life. So we will have to follow Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teaching and also how he behaved. Oh. Otherwise, no food. Lok de Khan Pura Baja Tilak Matra. Only Mota Mota Tilak. And Tulsi Mala, very big, big. And chanting five kilo. And doing like this, Hare Krishna. Oh, this will not do. Oh. You cannot be said. Kali will attack and he will swallow you. So, Valli Tilak Kanti Mala is not sufficient. It is needed. But main thing to follow the character of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his instruction both. Once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told that only preaching will not do. If you are not following the instructions of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna or Gurudev, then it is like a karma. No bhakti. And one who is only doing preaching only. So like this, and only one uh, bhajananandi, always doing bhajan, nothing to do with preaching. But Haridas Thakur, preaching and following all the teachings. So we must follow Haridas Thakur. We must preaching, preach. Our Guru Parampara, but they have always followed Rup Sanatan and others. Sankhya Purvakana Magan Natvi Kala Vasani Kato Nidra Har Vihara Kaj Visito Chatan Tadi Nauja Jau Radha Krishna Gunasmade Mudharimande Shambho Bande Rup Sanatan Rabu Jugau Sri Jeeva What they have done? So you will have to fall. Then he is your child. Otherwise, no. Lok te khan gora bhaja ki lakumata dhari gopane te atya chaar gora dhare chu. Oh, big big mala, big big dila, everything. But the gopane te atya chaar. What mean it? Gopane te? Secretly. Hiding from others. Then Gaur Chandra is Sarabhakya, he knows everything. He will know and reject him. Choto Haridas Thakur, he has not done anything. But for example, he gave punishment. He went to one of the uh, associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, 80 years old, at the four, Madhvi to bring some rice for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when he returned back, and when Mahaprasad was given to him, oh, very good rice, very tasteful, sweet, who had thought? Oh, from where? Oh, Madhvi Devi. Oh, he should not come to me. I will never see this. Perhaps there was some young lady. He may have seen. So, he was so strict. He went to prayer and left his body in Ganges. Mahaprabhu told. Oh, so far fall hope ma. As he did, he should test his fruit. So always, he should be always 
वेरी केयरफुल आता पतन हो गए भाई कोई ले उठी ना दिस इज वेरी बैड नामा परा तुम्हार भजन हो गए मान If unknowingly a person doing criticizing, even like Jagai Madhai, waiting to nitya in the Prabhu, it is like a sin, not a crime. But when knowingly you are doing something, then it is nama pada. Very, very, hmm? very, very. सीरियस फॉर भजन नाम लिया जे करे पा होए अपर दो सु आर्थिंग द बाइट बाय डूइंग चैंटिंग नेम बाय ऑल सिंस विल अपराध विल गो वे एंड अगेन अगेन ही इज डूइंग देन इट इज नमा महाप्रभु बिकम्स अनसेटिस्फाइड फ्रॉम द नाम करिते कष्ट नहीं ओ इन चांटिंग देम देर इज नथिंग वेरी इजी वेरी इजी ओस्ट स्पंदन हरे कृष्ण और नाम संकीर्तन एंड महाप्रभु विल बी सेटिस्फाइड आई टोल्ड यू स्टोरी ऑफ सनातन गोस्वामी हाउ वी Rejected jewels, touch stone, and how that Brahmin came and he told, "I went there. So now it's so costly. You should know what you can have by starting a job, by business. More than that, you can have by name. You can see." Shankar, Mahadev, Shankar. He had nothing, always naked. But what he will give? Anything you like. Anything. Because why? 